And that's why I believe that, you know what? You want to get married, meet the person, see the person, talk to the person. It's no longer like it was before where everyone had an uncontaminated upbringing waiting for their person of marriage. And then when you come up, you're so clean and pure to go, good to go. You're not contaminated by the social media of the world because it didn't exist. The word social media was non-existent. So it worked, it worked because you know what? People grew up, boys and girls grew up and they, were, they grew up with the qualities required for someone to get married to them and when they when they grew up no matter what it would work because even if your father or mother like what happened to me and they said you know what we suggest you marry this person you sure if that makes you happy I'm gonna do it that's it that's what I said that's what I said such a good boy wouldn't you like to have a son like me guys I regret having said that man in the sense that I should have said no problem. Let's consider it. Mashallah. Well done. Let's meet. Let's talk. Let's. It could. Have, I could have avoided a, uh, things that may have happened later on in my life that I regretted. But it's okay. It's okay. Allah wanted something. But my brothers and sisters, look at how. When Allah blocks something, we get upset not knowing that. Hey, I've got a plan for you. Do you know this person? I'm talking of today, right? You're madly in love with them because that's one crisis is we already more than married to someone without the nikah and now we want to halalize it with our fathers and mothers. That's it. That's it. I'm coming in and telling my dad, you know dad, uh, and dad says, I know. Do you have someone in mind? Yes. Tell him the truth. I don't have him in mind. I have him on my bed. Astaghfirullah. That's what's happening. Tell him the truth. It's a fact of life. That's how far we've gotten. There's no point in being ashamed of what's happening in the sense that to talk about it. But we are sad that that's a, it's a reality. I know I deal with young boys and girls. Many of them way beyond what you would do as a husband and wife. And then they're saying, can I get married to him? Hey, you should have come and said this five years ago, man. Five years ago. And don't be ashamed. Tell him exactly what waters you're in. He says, no, you can't. You know why? They are Pakistani and you are Bengali. Have you heard that before? 